Ray Ayanami. Ray Ayanami, you're quite an interesting person, aren't you? <laughs> And we are back. All right. So we are coming up on the last mission before our next branch. Um, already done our suborders. So a little checking ahead about other things I need to be doing. And so I need to work on getting Judo where is he at up to ace all right so we got a long way to go I can do this it's gonna take some work and I have a bunch of missions before I need to get him to ace I thought most of the other points, because if I get into Ace at, by a certain mission, I unlock an armor upgrade for the double Zeta. Um, and we're right about, just about there. More or less. Alright, next map. But uh, this doesn't mean I can put Kincaid on the side for now. Stronghold of Dr. Hell. Ah, yes, the, vil the villain of um, Mazinger. I can't believe the winged hermits are involved. They shun contact with the outside world. Why now, at the worst possible time? Probably to fight with those who come from other worlds and those who disrupt the laws of nature. Laws of nature? What's going on here? Why are those words making my heart rate like this? Seems like this might be a bad omen. We had we better hurry up and topple that Maz that Mazinga Z. As Doctor Hell wishes, so shall it be. I'll I'll smash them to bits with my bare hands. Brocken, Ashura, I'm counting on you. And that great Mazinga. We'll have to be careful with that thing. What's all this bare hands nonsense? Don't make me laugh! What? You are... What are you capable of, other than screwing up? You ought to just sit tight and wait for the news of our victory on Bardos Island. Oh, I'm, oh, super robot villains, how I miss voicing you. Brocken, Brocken, you, just because you've got command of the ghouls, you think you're invincible. Well, I've got new power of my own. The power to topple that Mazinger Z. And I'll do in that Koji Kabuto in the process. It's the least I can do for Dr. Hell. All right. Interesting. Very interesting. Boy, there's a contrast. Big scenery chewing, milking the giant cow over the top, super robot villains to hyper deadpan Ruri. I feel like we need a dialogue scene between Ruri and Ray. Though I did sense something unnatural about it. We don't have enough data at this point, but if we get another chance, we should be able to figure it out. Beyond that, if we could analyze the specific waveform they use, it should be theoretically possible. And then what? Then, it's up to Akito, I suppose. I'm assuming M's are like the, the uh, ellipses. What's Dr. Hell thinking, attacking us at a time like this? True. 
Whatever he's trying to do is beyond our comprehension, but his combat strength is nothing to sneeze at. Koji's right. That mechanical beast he uses can take on a whole battalion. Normal Federation forces are no match for it. So I guess it was inevitable that Londo Bell would end up taking him on. Exactly. And between dealing with Neo Zeon in space and Dr. Hell on the ground, they've really had their hands full lately. Still, conquering the world in the, state it, in the state it's in now? Just what is it that Dr. Hell is trying to accomplish? I've been wondering about that myself. Even in tatters, it's still the cradle of mankind. And, I th and he wants to be king the king of that, I expect. Grasping for power is the hallmark of a scoundrel. But even if he did defeat the Earth Federation, there's still Neo Zeon to deal with in space. So if he conquers Earth, there'd be a war between Dr. Hell and Neo Zeon. I wonder. Commander Amuro! I don't know what's going on in Dr. Hell's mind, but if the Federation were to be defeated, Neo Zeon might just end up ignoring the Earth altogether. Yeah, they're only keeping the war going in order to take revenge on the Federation. So mankind will be split cleanly in two parts, one on Earth and one in space. There's something really sad about that. Particularly to the options are being ruled by a go by a Super robot mad scientist who was created by Go Nagai on Earth. Which is a really, really bad sign. Bad way to go. B to B. Because remember, it's a Go Nagai created villain, and they tend to be extra debauched. Or being ruled by a fascist dictatorship in outer space. That's no good. Just a moment. It's still better than a war breaking out, isn't it? Um, no. Again, given the choice between evil, debauched, mad scientists on Earth and fascist dictatorship in space, again, no winners here. I still have my doubts you could call a situation like that peace, though. Thank you, Kodai. Still, I get the distinct impression that Neo Zeon is losing interest in planet Earth. Probably because of the second impact on the contamination of the environment by Getter Rays. That's a fair assessment. <laughs> so you're saying that if there, if there were a third impact, Neo Zeon wouldn't care? Axis drop, third impact, whatever the case, the cause, the result is the same. The death of the Earth. This is actually a pretty good question, because in Evangelion, we have no off-planet colonization. Nobody has decided, oh, third impact is really done to the Earth. Let's step up our space travel and space exploration game. Yeah, there's a research facility on the moon um, that's run by uh, uh, NERV and various other organizations, but it's not like a major place of inhabitation or anything like that. So Neo Zeon is actually hoping for the third impact. No, I don't believe that's the case. I saw how firsthand how people from Xeon risked their lives to push away Axis, after all. I see. Hmm. What's the matter, Shinji? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. You can't hide it from me. What Amro said came as a shock to you, eh? I got into an Eva and fought the angels, but the thought that there are people out there hoping for a third impact? Human beings aren't that foolish. Oh, you don't know what Shinji's dad is actually up to, or Shinji's dad's bosses, or technically Shinji's dad's bosses who Shinji's dad is actually secretly conspiring against, but same general principle. Hathaway. True, some space noids do detest the Federation, but it's not like they all want to see Earth noids perish after all. I agree with Amaro on this one. You're quite close with Amaro, aren't you? Well, you know, he and my dad go back a ways, and thanks to him, I got to see the White Meteor up close. Athway, your father is Commander Bright, isn't he? Yeah. What kind of things do you talk about with him? Actually, now that you mention it, except when I first got back to this planet, we haven't really spoke. We haven't spoken. And you're okay with that? It is what he is. He's he's pretty busy anyhow. 
I guess it's really not that necessary for a father and son to talk that much. You think so? If, it, if that weren't true, families would break apart just from being separated between Earth and space. Family can get by without a lot of talk, eh? Hmm. Shinji? Looks like you're having a tough go of it, just out the way. Koji. Shinji, I heard your, fa heard your father is the commander of Nerve. That's right. Masada was saying it was your father's idea to have you pilot the Eva. Well, there aren't many people who can pilot those things. Really giving it your all, eh? Huh? You know, you're trying to live up, you know, trying to live up to your dad's expectations. You're his pride and joy, after all. You, me thinks he doesn't know Gendo very well. Um, thank you. Everyone's got their own readings for fighting. Being sent into battle by your dad, it's not that, it's not a bad thing. Still, if you have second thoughts, let me know. You're the one who has to make the final decision. You can become a god, or you can become a devil. The choice is yours, and yours alone. What is that? It's something my, father, my grandfather said when he entrusted the Mazinger Z to me. Oh, uh, Koji, great job before. Thank you. Topic the Eva after it went berserk and all? Nothing of it. I just didn't want to give po the power to save the world to the forces of evil. Also, uh, technically, Boss Bro landed the final hit. Or the boss landed the final hit. Boy, that Koji. I thought he operated on sheer enthusiasm, but he's actually a deep thinker as well. Naturally. Look, after all, look at the situation we're in. Toby and Kincaid were talking about this too. But compared to the new correct century and the universal century direct dimensions, our world was pretty peaceful. No kidding! Your world has avoided a act as if has managed to avoid actual literal apocalypse. By the skin of his teeth, but you've done it. And just think how many sacrifices had to be made just to get to that point. True. Peace. It's just a, such a flimsy word. Angie? Until reason, pretty recently, I probably would have agreed with all of you. But now I know the truth. I think it's fair to say the peace on that planet was just a facade. Are you mocking the people who fought to achieve peace? That sounded harsh. I, I apologize. I do think true peace won't come until the whole truth about the planet is laid bare. The whole truth. And in fact, that's one of the goals of celestial being. All right. Well, let's leave it at that, you two. Kira's. I think Kira's right. After all, we don't even have a way to get back to our planet. Hmm. I was about to dot 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 ellipses ellipses. All of you want to go back? Doesn't that go without saying? Actually, not me. What? Me neither. Being normous and all, we wouldn't be treated as human beings there. Other planets, they don't care about things like that. Sorry to hear that. Like that is a fair assessment to have. It's like, hey, on this world, they are. You're just people. You're just normal humans. Compared to the other universes, where they, like, compared to your universe, where because of the, because, like, in the country you're from, you are a discriminated minority. And if you try to go elsewhere, they'll know you're from that country and know that you're fleeing this stigma. And so there, there'll always be that kind of elephant in the room, basically. Don't worry about it. At the very least, the people here don't have to take that sort of attitude. What about you, fallen princess? Do you have no attachment at all to that world with its facade of peace, as you call it? I... I want to go back there. Really? I've got all sorts of unfinished business there. For once, we're of the same mind. I feel the same way. A rare occurrence indeed. An enemy attack? Attacking us right in the middle of a sea like this, they must have passed in their sights from the get-go. Neo Zeon, or is it Federation forces? Whoever wants a fight is gonna get a fight. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.